for people who don't know much about you, uh, explain who is 1K Few and what is 1K and what's Few and all that good stuff. Man, I am 1K Few. I'm from the east side of Atlanta. Uh, 1K basically means being 1,000, being authentically who God caused you to be. Um, and Few is just short for nephew. You know, I was growing up, I was always the young head and you know, I was around the OGs, so everybody used to call me nephew. I was always the youngest. You feel what I'm saying? So I just put two and two together, 1K Few. We're really one and one together, 1K Few. So, <laughs> Yeah. Where, where is who? Who? How's Young Otto fit in all this? Man, so I am a '90s baby, and uh, one of my favorite cartoons of all time is uh, Rocket Power. And um, my boy Otto Rocket, he was like one of the main. Well, he was the main character in the whole thing, and um, it was really almost nothing that man couldn't do. Like he could skate, surf, like snowboard, skateboard, like anything, like. He he do the crazy bike tricks, the BMX tricks, like, and I just always looked up to that on some like, dang, like that's how I want my grind to be, like, and everything I do, I, I want to go crazy at it, like I want to be, you know what I'm saying? I want to go big, so cool. I just, you know, what I'm saying, young auto rocket. Happy birthday, by the way. Was it last month you turned 28? Yeah, man, 28, man, the big 28, man. So I don't know what uh, sign that is. What May 20th? What sign is that? Uh, I ain't read too big on. uh a scrupulous sign. No. Uh, I think it's. Uh, I think DMX told me it was Lord. Give me a sign. Ah, uh, Lord, give me a sign. Lord, uh, give me a sign. <laughs> uh, do you ever think back to when you were eighteen and h- how much has changed with you from then to now? Like, who, who was one K if you were eighteen years old? Boy, boy, boy. Um, one K if you were eighteen was a lost soul right there, boy. Like, cause I mean, I grew up in church, you know. But I feel like when I got, as soon as I hit middle school and high school and that whole era, that's when I really, like, kind of fell off track. And um, once I turned 18, that's when I was just trying to figure everything out, being rebellious, getting into some of everything. And, um, yeah, just just really just was lost, not really knowing who I was for real, for real. Like, this was before I really got confident in who God called me to be because I feel like that whole time I was really just running for my purpose. You feel what I'm saying? And, um, well, yeah. how how old were you when you stopped running? Man, how old was I? I'd probably say 19 when I got shot at. Probably like 19. Mm. Yeah, 19 years old. Right right after that, that's when I really just woke up on some, like, nah, I got I to gotta, I gotta tighten up. Because I always knew, like, I had so much favor with God. Like, every time I did something, he'll always punish me, but he'll spare me at the same time. <laughs> like, like I'll, be, I'll know that it's him talking to me, like, all right. You know what I'm saying? You got to tighten up. But this time, like, when I got shot at, like, I knew that was him saying, all right, you keep going, I'm going to kill you. You feel what I'm saying? Like, on some, like, not on no just evil stuff, but just on some, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm going to take you away from this life. You feel what I'm saying? So I just had to tighten up. And I really, I'm one of the ones who I, I recognize the sign. Like, I ain't really got no big head when it comes to God. Like, I ain't, he he the biggest. You feel what I'm saying? So I, yeah. once, you, once you get that message from God, like, I, you just got to listen. And I just listen. You feel what I'm saying? And from there, I just been on that journey from getting right, like to getting right with him. And um and even to this day, like, I done, I done woke up way more, like on some like embracing my purpose and embracing who he called me to be, on some like really be confident in who I am type thing, really embracing where I come from. So, so the the getting shot at thing, what 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 was it what what happened? Oh man, uh I don't really want to go into too much detail, but just running around with the wrong people and just, I don't know, leading the wrong crowd. And um, it, it ended up backfiring on us. And, uh, yeah, long story short, bro, you know what I'm saying? He followed us. We came out, followed us. Uh, he hit the car, he hit the rearview mirror first. And then at first we thought we were tripping. We was like, oh, like, you know what I'm saying? That, that couldn't be him. Because it's, it's broad day. It's like three in the day. You feel what I'm saying? <laughs> so he hit the he hit the rearview mirror. We're like, nah, that can't be, that can't be him shooting. So he shot again. The whole back windshield went out. And that's when we, oh he's shooting. So everybody just ducked immediately. It was like a movie. Like <laughs> we driving on the wrong side of the road. Like we could have got stopped by the police. We got all type of drugs on us. Like all type of stuff going on. And then it was just like God, <laughs> I don't know what's about to happen. But that's one of those situations. Like you almost gotta accept your fate. Like on some like because if you in the street, boy, you gotta accept what come with it. So I, that was the moment for me. I was like, here we go. And now like, God man. has brought has brought you here. Sure. Uh, we saw you in the We Aren't Ashamed tour, and you guys are going to do round two. Mm-hmm. Are you all on the same 
Bus? Oh, yeah, we on the same bus. I'm on the same bus with everybody. Everybody's stinking together. Did you say stinking together? Yeah, we stinking. Everybody's stinking. <laughs> well, no, so I was man. wondering, and on, on top of the stink, it, it, you, who you want to call out as the loudest snorer? The loudest? Oh, that's a good question. I don't know, man. It might be me, to be honest. I'm not going to cap you down. Like, <laughs> I might be the loudest snorer, but I don't know. I, I might have some competition with Tadashi, so I don't know. Okay, all right. Would he say that? Would he say the same, or he'd be like, "No, you win, hands down." Uh, I don't know, man. I don't know. I, I ain't gonna. <laughs> I would say somebody. I ain't gonna do it like that. <laughs> but nah, uh, I don't know, man. T dot probably. I don't know. He'll probably say himself too. <laughs> we be having a snore off. There you go. Um, you guys ever get into anything? I guess um, this is a little more melodic than a snow off. Uh, snow off. This is a little more melodic than a snore off. What mm-hmm. if y'all were in a karaoke battle? Oh, I get that to Andy. Andy would win? Andy would win all day. What song would Andy Mendio do to, to kill y'all with? Uh, My Pony. <laughs> At least he's not doing one of his own. <laughs> right. You got the song One Call with one with uh, you got the song with yourself. You got the song One Call with Cray. Yes, sir. And the Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Is that you? Is that him? Oh, is that's that me. Else? That's me all day. I, I mean, I, I don't know what made me whistle, but. I stole, I stole your thunder. Uh, Give us the whistle. Give it. If I can do it, all right, y'all ready? Yeah, yeah. A little bit, a little. little, I I still got a little bit. (laughs) (laughs) I don't mean to try and start more fights between you guys with the snore battles and karaoke battles and whatever, but uh, I just thought about your song Kung Fu. Mm -hmm. Who wins a Kung Fu battle among the We Are Unashamed people? Oh no, the Kung Fu battle. I don't know, man. We probably got to do it every man for himself type vibe, like on some put everybody in the ring and whoever last man standing. I don't know. Like, <laughs> we really got to see. I don't know. I can't even tell you. Uh, what you got in store for us uh, at the concert tonight? Oh, some of everything, man. I'm premiering my next single, uh, Church House Trap House type thing. That's, that's, that's out of here. I can't wait for people to hear that. I can't wait for the world to hear that because that's going to be that's, that's gonna be one of the next ones. But, um... Yeah, it's going to be a lot of energy. I got some special guests coming out. Um, I ain't really going to say too much. Y'all got to pull up to see who it is. But, um, yeah, it's, it's a whole bunch of stuff, man. I'm doing everything. Every song you can think of, I'm doing it. I ain't leave because I have a lot of shows, and people always come up to me after the show, like, oh, you ain't do this. Why you ain't do that? I'm doing everything tonight. Well, that was We Are On A Shame Tour. It's like you gave us just enough of right. a taste that I was like, but what about, and what about? Exactly. So, exactly. Now for sure. I'm doing everything tonight. All right, 1K Few, I'm Boost. Thank you for your time. Man, thank y'all. I'm excited. Let's get it.